It's Army Boot Camp Reaction Video. I'm a Marine who got out uh, a few years back, and I'm going to do a reaction to Army Boot Camp and some Army training. I had several people on my channel, and see below in the description, asked me for a reaction video to Army Boot Camp, since I did one to Marine Boot Camp. So let's get going. All right, listen up. Everybody take your cell phones out, hold them up. Like this, or something similar, is a drill sergeant. You will address them. So the first thing I'll notice compared to Marine Corps Boot Camp is going to be men and women are separate and this guy's really nice compared to the marine drill instructors you're going to go to the vertical yellow lines on the left side in front of you males you're going to go to the vertical yellow lines on the right side your paperwork will be in your left hand your bags will be in your right yeah this drill sergeant as they call them in the army is totally different than drill instructors in the marine corps and i'll tell you the way these guys are moving it did not happen at all. We showed up with an envelope, a manila envelope, and that was it. Uh, no cell phones, but a manila envelope with their orders. No backpacks or anything. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You, you, hurry up, move, get up there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Put your hand behind the head. Put your hand behind the head, doing that one. The thing that most of you don't realize a big difference is the Marine Corps is drill instructors. The Army apparently is drill sergeants. I don't know if I was a staff sergeant or a tech sergeant. I can't remember the Army ranks that well. I want to be called sergeant. You know, uh, anyway, that's just a noticeable difference. So you are not touching the person in front of you. Raise your hand now. If you're in the front, there is nobody there. Put your hand down. The Marine Corps definitely has a more chaotic process right here before you go into those uh, big metal hatches. It is pretty intense. This seems a little bit more subdued. Listen up if you're wearing a hoodie, jacket, coat, any type of outerwear, and you have an appropriate shirt on underneath that outerwear. Again, men and women are separated in training as a the point of this video. I'm sure it'll change, but um, I don't know how they are in boot camp. Apparently, they train in the same uh, company and platoon. Then a wedding band or an all black swatch. Take it off, put it in your bag. <laughs> wedding ring, all black watch. Everything else goes. Your hands by your side. Heels together. Your heels are on the yellow line. I would not recommend keeping a wedding ring on during training because you will tear your, the blisters will get torn up by the wedding ring. You'll get. Pants. Unless you're wearing some of those athletic pants, you're going to tuck your shirt in. When you do this, you will not unbelt them. You will not undo any belts. You will make it so that way we see nothing other than you tucking in your shirt. Do it now. Quickly, let's go. Quickly, quickly, let's go. It's pretty shocking people show up to boot camp without their shirt tucked in. I don't know how much training they got in advance or, you know, heads up in advance, but if you're going to boot camp, tuck your shirt in and wear a belt. Uh, you're going to wear that, do that in the military. Get off the bus. Because you were moving very slow, I had about one person for every five that was actually moving with a purpose. So what you're going to do now, everyone, get in a push-up position. Do it now. The position you are in. The position you are in is called the front cleaning breast position. Hey, if you guys like what I'm doing here at the channel, please uh, leave some comments below, subscribe, and use my uh, Amazon link if you would. It helps the channel. When they say move, you will get into this position. This position is the front cleaning breast position. Now I recommend you fix your face because you need to make your attitude less visible. Check it out. There are a few things we will tell you to do while you are here. All of them. That was perfect. That drill instructor, drill sergeant said to that recruit, you know, facial expressions are something you need to learn how to manage. Hey, and if it's showing on your face, you really need to fix your face. Why you being Start doing push ups. There are simple things that we will tell you. 
very simple things. We make it so you do not have to think. We will tell you everything you need to know. We will tell you the who, the what, the where, and the when. You do not need to know the why. We will tell you everything you need to know. You will do it exactly as we say, or you will fail. If you fail because you did your own thing, and if you go to boot camp, I don't care what boot camp it is, and watching some of these recruits here who can't do 10 push-ups, and that's your plan, get a better plan. That's not going to work. I don't care what you're in, the Marine Corps, Army, you name the service. Position, move. Simple thing. We tell you what to do. We tell you how to do it. If I wanted you to dust yourself off, I would have told you to do so. You do your own thing, you get used to this position. Start doing push-ups. While you were here at Fort Jackson at a basic combat training, in this joint training environment, there are three rules you will live by. Rule number one, you will always have a battle buddy. Battle buddy for males consists of... Like this kid in the white shirt. He's done maybe 10 push-ups. He's already smoked. There's just no reason to put yourself in that position. So go prepared, be ready to push-ups. You will either have one member of the same gender or two members of the opposite gender. You will not go anywhere, Yucky anywhere needs. without a battle buddy present. Next, Yucky you will needs. always be on the right hand side of the battle in all hallways. If you're in a hallway, you'll be on the right hand side. You'll be on the right hand side. See, that presents a problem when you've got male and female boot camp together. You have to worry about sexual harassment claims. It's just tr it's problematic, and I don't know what to do about it. It's the way of the world, but it's definitely new. Uh, I can't imagine training like that. Off the ground. Off the ground. You have already off the ground. In your first off the ground. Push your body off the ground. Push it off the ground. Stop doing push-ups. The last person goes in that row, that row, and that. Oh, they will screw this up. I'm confused on what he said, and I'm not even there. Uh, yeah, they will screw that up, especially their first few guys in the uh, squad. Classroom, you will place your bag under the table. Place your bag under the table. Take out any and all paperwork. All of your paperwork will be open and placed on the table. Yes, Mr. Sergeant. For those of you guys that are going, and ladies, if you just listen to these guys intently, which is not easy when you're stressed out, it's not that difficult. But most people don't aren't listening because they're so stressed out where they become a, you know, a S show. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Don't bring a backpack if you don't need it. You're just extra crap you're not going to need. I mean, I guess if they tell you to, but I just don't see what you need when you get there. You need your orders, you need your paperwork, your ID maybe, and that's it. Yeah, this is pretty similar to what we did in the Marines. Uh, there was individual seats, but similar deal. We were kind of in an auditorium, and you know they get you write your platoon number on your hand or something along those lines. You know who the heck you're with. If you get lost, I don't know how you could, but. What's about to happen is the drill sergeant and the cadre are going to go through your packets. We're going to take off what we need, and we're going to tell you to put yourself away. You will quit. I added this section in. It looks like it's uh, them going infantry training or something. Supposedly Fort Benning, um, but it looks like it might be infantry training or maybe after boot camp training. You get picked up and you're bringing all your gear. For those of you never repelled or are going to boot camp when they're going to repel, it's a just again follow what they tell you to do and it's not a problem. Um, I'd never done it. It was fun. I listened to what they said because I'd watch some guys not do it and go down the wall, you know, hitting their face. Any of you guys or gals, uh, put the comments below if you could again share with your friends and family, um, subscribe, and uh, use the Amazon link if you need it. We're going to have a uh, some more stuff like this if it's people are interested. Um, you know, I would say I had somebody ask to do one on the Navy. All the boot camps are different, and an Army guy would look at Marine Corps boot camp differently, So, but it's very entertaining, and hey, thanks for watching.